Hello, sweeties! Jeez, it's so close to the end of the year that I'm actually getting really nervous. Next year is going to be a doozy. But let's worry about that when it gets here. For now, we're looking at the week of 15 December 2019. And amazingly, some good things are happening. You'll see. Thanks for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And press the bell thing. You'll be sent reminders. That's enough of that. Let's get to the stars. Sagittarius, my little pineapple, that wonderful mind of yours is working like crazy. Keep a notebook handy, or whatever people use for notebooks these days, but keep notes. In this mood, you could discover new ways to create water or design a hovercraft, it's all happening. The planets are on the move and you are taking charge, good for you. But before you single-handedly change the world, how about a couple of tweaks in your own life? The planet of abundance has moved into your wallet, yum. Make sure your energies are ready to receive. Say yes to everything and be grateful for all of it. And please resist that eternal need to analyze everything that comes your way. Sometimes you just have to say, yes, please. Get ready to expand your horizons. That's it for Sagittarius. Capricorn, my little Christmas pudding. Where has all this fabulous new confidence suddenly come from? Actually, don't ask. Just let it in and use it. You'll be learning a whole lot from each new experience, so hold the judgments until you've seen results. And be willing to move at a moment's notice. Keep the bags packed. Look as if you know exactly what you're doing, and you soon will. Everyone wants your help. And this time, you get to be the one who knows what's going on. The money's fantastic this month, and those deals you've been slaving over are finally coming together. Obviously, because it's year-end, you may have to wait a bit for the actual bucks, but they're on their way. And so are you. Have some fun while you're there. That's it for Capricorn. Aquarius, my little daffodil. Are you finally ready for something different? That's a strange thing about you. You're the great revolutionary, always looking for ways to change the world. But as soon as something shifts in your own life, some tiny thing, you have an immediate panic attack. Too hilarious. So here's a heads up. Changes are coming. And they'll be good ones. That new love affair for a start could be really interesting and if it's not this one, wait for the next. It won't be long coming and you'll finally get to experience a dose of real unconditional love. Amazing. Not too many people get that. Just remind yourself though, you're expected to share yourself too. If you want this to last, none of that quiet hermit lunacy thing is allowed. And as an added bonus, just so you know, there's a new business plan en route. Be open to suggestion. That's it for Aquarius. Pisces, my little lamb chop. We all have those times when we're not at our brightest. And right now, you just don't feel like responding with your usual enthusiasm, and that's fine. Take a break until the energy passes, but while it's here, take a closer look at your relationship with yourself. Are you giving yourself the nurturing you need? Or are you charging ahead with your ambitions, forgetting that even you need an occasional hug? Actually, this is a perfect time to switch off. Most of your career plans have been put in motion and are running by themselves. You might even have opened your mouth and asked for help by now. Yikes, not an easy one for you. Now you can change whatever else you're unhappy with. Take your time and take a breath. That's it for Pisces. Aries, my little stallion, calm down a moment. There is absolutely no point dwelling on past mistakes now. As you very well know, nothing can be done about the past. And besides, you're probably the only one who remembers the big stuff-ups. Other people are too busy worrying about their own big stuff-ups. So if you're taking time for reflection, don't waste it brooding over garbage. The plan here is to accept that even you have imperfections, oh my gosh, and then forgive yourself for being a mere human being. After that, get out and mingle. There's potential for some fabulous parties out there. And you might even meet someone charming enough to send your thoughts on a completely different track, yay. Some interesting gifts are coming in your Christmas stocking. That's it for Aries. Taurus, my little coconut, are you fretting yet again about career changes? Actually, this is probably quite a good time to just look at your options. But why not ask the family for advice first? And don't shake your head with that what-do-they-know look on your face. They've been listening much more closely than you think. 
and they're far more objective than you could ever be. Besides, your real desire for change is much more about yourself than your work. Think carefully about your real needs, write them down. For a start, you're rethinking your spiritual beliefs amazingly, and that's always a hard one. We tend to grow up with a set of truths that are sort of handed down, and it's always scary to think about losing them. No hurry. How about a short trip somewhere? You'll come back with a different perspective. That's it for Taurus. Gemini, my little hedgehog. Are you working too hard? Are you ignoring the family? Are all your lovers complaining that they never see you? It's true. It's never easy to find a balance until you lose what you thought you didn't need. So before the melodrama begins sliding in under the door, take a day and play. Ask yourself what makes you happy. But remember, your understanding of relationships is fairly frightening at the best of times. So try listening and make a point of responding to what you've been told. This is a fabulous week for commitments to whatever you like. You could commit to your own happiness or to love or success. Don't worry about the money for now. It's taking care of itself. That's it for Gemini. Cancer, my little muffin, are you feeling overwhelmed by everything that's being thrown at you? Is it all too complicated? Well, yes, maybe it is all a bit much. But as you've doubtless forgotten, life and relationships in particular only get complicated when you let them. And the main reason for the drama is you keep trying to please everyone else before yourself. Madness. Now is your chance to study the fine art of selfishness and to find some new friends while you're at it, the kind you actually like. You might even think about weddings or some kind of commitment, but not necessarily to the person you're with, but you know, think about that. And that's great, as long as it's what you want. Don't let yourself get talked into anything you don't want to do. After all that, how about a change of career? It's almost time. Think about it. That's it for cancer. Leo, my little porcupine, shall we say ups and downs, or shall we just come out with it and announce that your love life is like some mad obstacle course? Not that you mind all that much. For loonies like you, this is what makes life worthwhile. But don't confuse the desires either. A need for love has nothing to do with a need for excitement. They're different beasts altogether. So treat them that way. Your love planets are slowly moving in the direction of real commitment, but they haven't got there yet. You'll know when the time's right. And when you've done that, make space for a really interesting new career opportunity coming soon. Provided you take care of your health. Stress is a killer, you know. Calm down. Enjoy the moments. That's it for Leo. Virgo, my little watermelon, are you feeling better now? Excellent. The serious stresses have mostly sorted themselves out. If you're looking for work, you'll find some, possibly even before the end of the year. Either way, money is definitely looking better, which means you're probably still working harder than usual, typical, but for now, you don't really mind that much. You're probably spending a lot more than usual too, turning your home into the kind of place that nurtures your fragile little heart. You may even be contemplating relocating somewhere quieter. Either way, you're in charge now. Get what you want and find people to share it with. Oh, and stay in touch with the family, they miss you. That's it for Virgo. Libra, my little cupcake, what's going on here? The fact is, that wonderfully creative spark is feeling stifled and needs some direction. So either show the folks what you can really do, or move on to something else and start afresh. Pointing fingers hardly ever makes a difference. Still, there'll probably be a few people pointing fingers at you, which is always a pain. So you may have to prepare for a little conflict in your life, probably in love and work, but so what? It'll make a nice change for you to do the yelling. You can express your creativity in loud and wicked ways for a while. It might inspire you to move on to greater things. Still, there's no need to get mean. The ego has no place here. This is all about learning to express yourself in every possible way. Success is just around the corner. Find your courage. Get ready to explore. That's it for Libra. Scorpio, my little pancake. For some reason, you have this peculiar urge to control everyone you know, all the while hiding your real motives, most odd. And you're afraid to trust anyone, and you're seriously wondering whether someone spiked your herbal tea. Nuts! Just relax for once. You're just being offered a different kind of experience, one in which your dark side gets to take a healthy look around. Still, you can use this energy any way you like. You could save a life, 
write a masterpiece or ruin someone's day. That's where you want to go. You choose. The point is, you've completely forgotten how incredibly powerful you are and that's why you're behaving like a complete prat. Take your power back. Be magnificent. That's it for Scorpio. Thank you, you extraordinary creatures, for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. If you'd like to subscribe, just press the button. It's free. And if you have any interesting thoughts, and I know you do, send me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. You have a great week. And remind yourself every five seconds just how fabulous you are. Bye now.